Wait a text. What do we got? 16-year-old kid fished her out of the sound. Sailing accident. Mine? Sorry. Why are you following me? I'm your intern for the day. Oh. Hello, intern. You have a name? Joe Wilson. Oh, nice. I like chicks with boys' names. Oh, Alex. Your intern brought you coffee. Oh, cool. I was wondering if it would be possible to scrub in on your neck surgery. That's not gonna happen. But hey, grab me another coffee. That was great. Did you check the eyes and nose on 3150? I did this morning. She doesn't stop crapping and peeing just because you want to watch a surgery. Go and check them again. What is your problem? My problem is... I'm... Dr. Kreb, I've rounded on your pre-ops, your post-ops, I've run your labs, and I'm updating your charts right now. What about my console on the JRA kid? Did you schedule that yet? Um, no, I, I haven't had a chance. Are you kidding me? Stop at the charting. Do it now. <laughs> oh, don't. No, I'm, I'm sorry. I'll schedule it. God, I can't believe I'm crying in front of my boss. I told myself that I wouldn't do this. <laughs> Look, I'm not supposed to be this person. I don't fail. I was valedictorian of my high school, graduated cum laude from Princeton. I was first in my class at Harvard. How am I not getting this? I somehow become the loser intern. I blew the app with Dr. Gray. You've been piling on the scut, so clearly I pissed you off somehow. You get scut because you're an intern. That's what interns do. It's the best way to learn. And you haven't pissed me off. I haven't? I, no, I'm just... Dr. Torres may have told me not to flirt with you because it may be possible that I dated a couple of other interns. You mean Heather? Yeah, her. And Leah. Yeah. And Susan, Stacy, Tina, Irene. Don't worry about the flirting. I have absolutely no interest in you since you've already screwed every one of my friends. I should go. What's the matter with you? Change your clothes now. Oh, yes. That's it. I have been walking around in the same vomit-soaked shirt since this morning. It couldn't be that I've been repeatedly puked on by a patient who pukes all day despite the fact that I can't find anything wrong with him except extreme nausea and migraines. No, I must lack the ability to wash myself or have absolutely no self-respect. You know the bitch to diagnose the pants go crazy. I thought it was the booze I was taking for the head. No, it's the migraine. You don't. Oh, this works on migraine. Thank you. Yeah. Sure saved my biscuits from the fire on this one, Doc. Thanks. Oh, thank her. Someone else might have uh, let your biscuits burn. <laughs> Darling. Hey. <whistles> Damn. Look at that thing. <laughs> what are those run, like 5K? I don't know. It was a gift. Oh, from Daddy. No. All right, don't get defensive, Princess. Just a question, so... You don't want me to... You start digging, Princess. Oh, you might want to take off your watch first. Keep going. So, what's next? Well, now that he's hooked up to ECMO, the baby needs to be monitored 24-7. It's gonna be a long day and a longer night. You might want to go grab a power nap, Princess. Why do you keep calling me Princess? Have you seen yourself? Months? It's hard to know at this point. Not everybody lives in a perfect little world like you. I never said my world was perfect. Oh, Princeton, Harvard, perfect GPA. But not all of us go to Ivy League schools or drive fancy cars or rely on our richy rich daddies to bankroll our pretty little lives. Some of us have to overcome more than others. I know that. So, get over it, Princess. You're in no position to judge. Did you also know that I blow my nose with $100 bills? Uh huh. And my one year old birthday cake was made out of caviar. Gross. Also, in one of the rooms of my obscenely big mansion, instead of paint, I just lined the walls with mink. Shut up. It's true. Guess how many fireplaces I've got? Four. 27. Well, 28, if you count the butler's room, but please, he's the help. Explains a lot. <laughs> Look. I don't know what your deal is, but you can't go around assaulting patients. She was abandoning her baby. Then let the cops handle it. It's not your job, Princess. Stop calling me Princess! My mother left me at a fire station when I was two weeks old. 
I got bumped around foster homes till I was 16 when I took matters into my own hands and started living out of a car. I parked it behind the gym in my high school so I could sneak in and use the showers before class. The home ec teacher, Ms. Schmidt, she let me do my laundry there for free. And yeah, I got into good schools because I worked my ass off. And when I walked across that stage at graduation, I didn't have a cheering section filled with my richy rich family. I had one person, Ms. Schmidt, that's it. She's the one who gave me this watch when I got the job. Her son works for the company. It is a nice watch. Thanks. You're gonna be operating with me. We have to do an open procedure because he's got adhesions from a surgery a couple years ago. Once he's open, you can take down the adhesions. Really? Yeah. I've never done anything like that before. Yeah, well, if it was me, I'd spend the next few hours in the skills lab. Dr. Krab, is this because I told you about when I was a kid? Oh, yeah, I feel so bad you were a dumpster diving orphan. I'm letting you hack up a 10-year-old. Sorry, stupid. You think? Bovi, please. I worked hard to get here. I'm not gonna let myself get fired because... Nobody's firing you. I was trying to help you. I clearly wasn't ready for it. Why? Because I had to take over? Look, you can't go crying to my damn boss every time you get scared. You can't cry at all when you get scared because it's scary in there all the time. I just thought maybe after I blew the appy, I'd be a good target if you needed to pin something on someone. It's paranoid. I get that. I don't always trust people who are trying to help me. Yeah, yeah, you're a beaten dog and you bite people who tried to feed you. I don't give a crap about your sad story. You want to be a surgeon, you need to get the hell over it. You burned a bridge with me. How about you grow up before you burn a bridge with every other attending who tries to teach you something? Oh, come on. He's the guy. Nope. Uh, you don't get to practice medicine with foods in your system, Hobo Joe. You're Hobo Joe? Like, rides the rails and eats beans from a can? I don't, I don't know. Weird. Beer for me and another round for Hobo Joe. Let me guess. You got uh, it. Thunderbird, or is it just uh, straight paint dinner? <laughs> Uh, you got a little brown paper bag you can put that in. Would you stop? <laughs> I have no parents. I lived in my car. So, yes, I have trust issues. Comes with the territory. You need to stop acting like you're the only person who ever had a crappy childhood. Yeah? How many foster homes did you get kicked out of before you moved into your car? Uh, 17. And I didn't live in my car. I went to juvie. Stop making fun of me. I'm not. Really? And you're actually lucky that your folks abandoned you. Means you didn't have to watch your schizo mom go after your baby brother with a steak knife. Fine, fair. But you never woke up in the middle of the night with junkies banging on your bedroom windshield, praying they get tired or bored before they put a rock through a window. No, I didn't, because the junkie was my dad, and he didn't break windows, just fingers. What did you ever have foster parents that made you and 19 other kids sleep on cots in the basement? locking the doors, lights out, so that if you had to pee in the middle of the night, you had to use buckets they set up along the wall. Buckets you couldn't see because if you turn the lights on, the bigger kids would hold you down and take those buckets and... God. No. Never. Me neither. Saw it on a movie on cable. <laughs> How did you get cable in your car? <laughs> my car anymore, jerk. <laughs> Are you? Hey. Look, I was kidding. Come on, that wasn't even the worst thing I said. Oh, come on, please. You're not a garbage eater, okay? I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, look at your face. Oh, I got you. I so got you. What? Tears, baby. The number one tool of the street kid. Turn on the waterworks, you can get out of anything. Wait, wait, you, you can just cry like that? Got three surgeries out of you, chump. Oh, come on, that's not fair. Chicks can get away with junk like that. That would never work for me. You're wrong. A girl crying is one thing. A guy crying freaks everybody out. Really? For sure. Show me how. Come on up. Rummy. Oh, come on. I gave you the room key before we left the freaking room. No, you didn't. Oh, 
Did you? You do this all the time. You did this last week with the check for Becky's piano lesson. What is wrong with you? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. What's the problem? I lost the key to our room. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry. It's been a very long day. <laughs> and uh, obviously, we are both very drunk. Oh, no. Uh, uh, what's your room number? 220. Uh-huh. Uh, Jordan Schaus? That's it. There. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> this is so soft. It's like it's made out of polar bear. I think this is my room. <laughs> it was humiliating. Wear pants, it doesn't happen as much. I just got up. I was looking for a glass for water because I'm hungover. And why are there no glasses or, or mugs or anything? Pretty loud for a hungover girl. The chief of surgery just felt me up. And I had to sleep on your living room floor because you have no furniture and I have a neck ache. Being your friend is basically ruining my life. I've heard that before. <sighs> you're a douche. Get a couch, I'm never drinking with you again. Well, if you're thirsty, all you gotta do is stick your face under the faucet. <laughs> okay. I'm going to a hospital where there's food and paper cups. Shepherd scores. Ah, I'm waiting on Yang. She's going to break down and punish the whole house. What? It's genius. You got it, Shepherd. <laughs> Wilson, your friend's choking. You want to make this interesting? 100 bucks says Shane wins. I don't have 100 bucks. I want to eat from us. Listen, it's not too late to back down. I'm a gentleman. I'll let you walk away. 500 bucks. You got here just in time to lose. Final point, Vintage Ross. Oh, Shepard's got this. Double or nothing. What's the matter? You scared? Fine. You're on a thousand bucks. Woo! Yay! Yeah. Oh, yeah. Slowly. I got you a couch with the money I won. This is such a girlfriend thing. Okay, I think what you want to say is thank you for the awesome couch. OK, but uh, we're not doing it, if that's what you're thinking. Why would we do it? It's disgusting. You're like my brother. We drink beer and hang out. OK. I mean, I never really had a friend who was a girl who didn't want to do it, so it's weird. Except Marin. She probably wanted me at some point. Wow, you really are a douche. Just shut up and drink. Brand ambassador. What does that even mean? You to wear a funny hat and cut things with oversized scissors? All I know is K.O. creeps me out. That creeps me out? Somebody else's house and starts sucking fakes. You invited him. <laughs> What's that? We are directly underneath Yang's room and Owen's visiting. What do you think? <gasps> is that him or her? Do napkins work as earplugs? <laughs> oh, 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 oh! <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> You're nuts. <laughs> Giraffe, dinosaur. Walk with me. Here's what I know. They like Avery's looks and they like his name. No, you don't have either of those. Gee, thanks. But you have Africa. Weed with Africa. And. Stole them from the nurses in Durham. <laughs> they won't eat them anyway. They're all no sugar and gluten free. Cheers to an incredible day. You deserve it. Actually, I helped too, so cheers to us. <laughs> mm. It's powdered sugar is your favorite. Yeah, no, this is great. Thanks. What? Nothing. You realize the ground beneath you has shifted. Okay, buddy, you go 
to sleep. I promise she won't remember any of this crap. What are you smiling about? Nothing. Cut it out. We need to tell his parents their brand new baby needs surgery. Do you think they can work? Workplace relationships? What? What do you mean? Look at these two. Co-workers who wanted a quickie and got a baby. They both seem to want the baby. Yeah, but they don't want each other. And now they're stuck seeing each other at the kids' recitals and at staff meetings. It's a disaster, right? I don't know. Everybody's different. True. You've had relationships with coworkers. Yeah. And look how those played out. You're single and alone. When I met you, you had a mattress and one bowl. Come on, that's... Yeah. It's just more trouble than it's worth, right? I think it could work. Well, again. You know, people, co-workers getting together. Don't judge it from those lawyers. They don't even like each other. Look at Gray and Shepard. They tried to avoid it, but it was like fate or whatever. They had to be together. It's just right, you know? That's beautiful. You should write poetry or greeting cards. I'm just saying it could work. Ten seconds. Do you have a blog that I could follow? Shut up. You ever write poems about horses? Just pretty, pretty horses. Shut up. Five. Four. Three, two, one. Yes! <clears throat> That's gonna be fun. I'm especially excited for that kid's next 18 years. Hey, wanna go get a beer? Oh, I would love to, especially after today. But um, I actually already have plans tomorrow night. Is that cool? Yeah, that's cool. Hey. Hey, who is that guy? That is Chest Peckwell. What? It's not his real name. We just called him that before we knew it. OB resident. Joe's been mooning over the guy since he got here, and she finally grew herself a pair and asked him out. Hey, Joe. <laughs> she didn't tell you about him? Yeah, she did. <laughs> Come right out of there, and adios, Phil. We'll get sick, let you down. It's Alex, do you know Jason? Uh, Chest Peck Wise. Jason, my. Have you seen where Jalen Donovan's parents are? Isn't Jalen up in dialysis? I know where she is. I asked about Excuse her parents. Me. Are you getting on her or what? I'll take the stairs. Move over. Um, hi. Yeah, I heard you almost killed somebody trying to get Jalen her kidney. And I was kind of a douche face. And anyway, I'm, I'm sorry. Thanks. Okay. Can I uh, buy you a beer or something? Um, I'm all set. Yeah, we both are. We're all set. Dr. Wilson, she's been begging for more time with you. Mm -hmm. Did you cry? I bet. I'm nice to Jason. Two minutes ago, you said, hey, you have a surgery today with your D-bag boyfriend. Yeah, but I said it with a smile. Fine. I won't call the guy a D-bag, at least not to his face anyway. I'm moving in with him. So what do you think? I think it's great. Really? No, I think the guy's a douchebag who you've known for about two minutes, and that makes you an idiot for moving in with him. Why did you tell him that? What? That I'm a homeless dumpster diver. I don't tell anyone. You don't tell people about me. You told me. Yeah, it's called a secret, Alex. It's what friends tell each other. Look, what's the deal? What did he say? What did I tell you? So stupid. What is the point of a new start if there's always some dumbass dragging you back down? Whoa, whoa, listen. No, you listen. You don't tell people about me. You don't talk about me or to me ever. Out of order here, Bob. Take stairs. Make room. Wilson said 40 can't learn from back there. Thank you, Dr. Shepard. At what point do you lay down the amendment? Well, that's a good question. Um, after you explain. Anyone who's not needed can uh, head on out. So, beauty. Mom, can we at least try and talk to each other? I'd like to feel like I don't have to avoid pediatrics, that we could still work together. So that's what you're worried about, not being on my service. Nice. No, that, that's not... I've done not... nothing but try and help you. Really? Because every time you say anything, my life gets worse. Things with Jason were perfect. I'm sorry if your boyfriend's an idiot and can't deal with your past, but that's on you. 
Obviously, you like them like that. As for me, I'm sick of crazy chicks with problems. Stay out of my business, okay? Oh, well, don't worry. I'm out. What is up with that? I don't know. And I don't care. I told her the guy was a douche. Whatever, let's go. Oh, man. You're killing me here. I'm trying to leave you alone. I'm trying to get out of your freaking life, but you're everywhere. And now you show up to tell me the same thing? Well, guess what? But there is a magic in knowing that while not everything can be repaired. Can I stay here? Please. Most everything can be survived. Uh, tree. Listen, uh... We were talking before the whole tree thing happened. It's fine. You just forget that I... I mean... This place looks so different in the dark. Yeah. You think the tree ruined my couch? <laughs> I think it ruined your entire living room. Listen, I have to tell you something. No, you don't. You don't even know what I'm going to say. I think I do, and you shouldn't. Joe. I'll miss it all, Alex. I miss everything good in my life. Up, And we work as friends really well, and I don't want to mess that up. You won't mess anything up. Last night, before the tree, you asked me a question. You wanted to hear me say the words. So I'm saying them right now. I don't hear anything. Oh, shut up. Okay, but I'm I... serious. Fine. I love you. <laughs> what would I do without your smart mouth? Drawing me in and you kicking me out. Got my head spinning. No.